Hello, hi, it's Liz here and I have the Yo-Yo journal to play with today and do a page. This is a collaboration between myself and Barbie over at Nelly and Ruth Designs. If you haven't had a visit to Barbie, then I recommend that you do because Barbie makes the most beautiful things. This is one of Barbie's pages. Look at that. How clever is that? But that just slides in there. And I think first time round when I saw this, I didn't realise. I didn't even realise that that split and that came out. Very cool. So yes, this is a collaboration between myself and Barbie. I'll put a link to Nelly and Ruth Designs um, in the description box. And um, this is one of my new pages, Barbie. Look, I thought this is Barbie sitting in her, um, I don't know, I think they call it the family room or the living, we call it living room here or the lounge, but I don't know. And she's reading her book. She reads a lot. And I thought that we saying was pretty good. And there's little bookish things. And she also travels. And uh, she, I know she's been to Italy. So I thought that's pretty nice. So I've done a couple of pages. Um off camera so that I can catch up because I'm a little bit behind. I did this one too um, with some journaling spots and I thought that was quite nice because this book, let me explain, um, that's a little um, mailbox with a little bird with a letter because this journal goes back and forward it's only to make one more journey and then this will stay with Barbie and Barbie's got a matching journal and we've both been working on both the journals and they go back and forward the two journals and um, yeah so uh, that's why it's called yo-yo because it yo-yos back and forward and I thought that was quite appropriate because it's going through the mail um, so yes yeah, so I'm on my final 10 pages in this one and uh, and Barbie's doing the final 10 pages on the one that she's got and then it'll go look at this how beautiful is this look look at that oh oh anyway today today i'm going to do this page here because this is interactive and i thought i would do something interactive here so let me just show you my little half completed one this is what's going to go here and you I, because I don't want to glue it down just now I'm just going to hold it and you just pull this oh how cool is that I think she'll love that I think she'll get a kick out of that and I'm just going to decorate it all up do a little bit of background a little bit of something here and then I'm going to decorate these little squares and then we'll get it stuck on and that can be there perfect but first of all let's put the book aside and I will show you because it's a die it's lawn fawn lawn cuts flipping flipping awesome is what it's called and the mechanics of it is this is the main piece here and you cut it out and then it does the folds for you as well and then you cut out four square uh, three squares and you put them on those pieces bits there and then you get lots of little, extra little bits to embellish a square a stitch square and a scallop square and some banners and a heart and um yeah and little bits for the tab as well. So I'll just quickly show you how you put this together. Now, I dare say you could search the internet for a template. I'll just do the folds while I'm talking. Um, you could search the internet for a template. I was going to give you all the measurements and all the bits and everything. But to be honest, I think you would still need to look it up. And then... Um, and maybe trace over something or whatever, I don't know. The best plan, I'm guessing, if you really, really fancy doing this, is to get the die 
I think anyway is the best plan because I could give you all these measurements and try and explain how this works. So that's the shape that it comes and you get this die as well. So we'll just put that side to it and I'll just quickly show you how you put it together. So that's obviously the bottom and the bit you pull. And they clip over. So you want to put the squares on these three pieces here. So you're just putting glue. I'll just quickly do it just for the sake because I've got the one I'm going to use already. I just want to show you how easy this is. So you just glue it on the top there on that those folded pieces and you just line up with the fold this was just a scrap piece of card that... so you attach those three that gets folded over and then you pull <sighs> it's a little bit stiff because it's just newly It seems it's really effective, but so simple. Cool. So that's how it goes together. Right, let's get the one that we're going to use and let's do a little bit of decorating. So I've got all my little bits here. Now, the thing about it is I'm hoping that I don't think it will affect the mechanism if I layer up well I'm fingers crossed <sighs> if I layer these up I don't think it will stick well I'm hoping it doesn't stick so it's going to be a bit of a, a butterfly theme and I want to get as much as I can on these right okay that all seems okay so these little bits are all um 49 in market so they are 49 in market my favorite right let's just pop this on here And put the stamp on next. Well, the full stamp. Um, number want to make sure I can see. Yeah, that's fine. Here we are. So I'm looking forward to getting, I think I've got um, five pages to do after this one. No, four, after this one I think four pages. Yeah, I think so. And then off it goes and I think Barbie put on a video with her lat latest page just the other day. So if you've not seen that, it's an absolutely gorgeous page for um, the Year of the Rabbit. And you know, I was telling hubby and he thought that that was such a good idea. He's like, I think, let me just get my wee bluey cloth. He said, I think you should do a Year of the Rabbit in this one too, so that you've both got a Year of the Rabbit. Now, is that going to flip? Well, it seems like it. So, good. So, let's get on to the second square. 
and I have a similar little bundle, slightly different. Live in the now. Um, number two. Maybe the stamp up there this time. Something like that. Yep. Yes. And I don't know. I was like, oh, but maybe Barbie wanted it to be unique. And then I thought, yeah, but Barbie wouldn't mind if I took inspiration from her Year of the Rabbit. I'm sure she wouldn't. If I can find a good, I think I've got rabbit stamps, rubber stamps. And I think maybe that would make a nice page and take inspiration from, from Barbie's page. This has been a real fun project to do. It's absolutely been fantastic, this collaboration. I had never done a collaboration before, so this, so it was quite exciting when, when we got together and decided to do it. Although I think I'll need to wait until our post office is up and running again. The Royal Mail are having cyber problems. I don't know if you've seen it in the news. The, their computers have been um, some cyber attack. Oh goodness, I don't know what people think that they're doing. Now let's see if we can switch things up a little bit and put the butterfly up higher this time. Explore and discover. Something like... Does everybody else do this? Fiddle about? Fiddle about. And then, of course, once your fingers start to get sticky. Yeah, something like that will do. Whoops. Once your fingers start to get sticky, you can't move things about because they stick to your fingers. <laughs> oh, dear. I think that was down that corner. And then number three. Come in, number three. Your time is up. They used to say that. Now, what was it? Was it like, like at boating lights when we used to go our holidays? We, when I was young, when I was a child, we went to Butlins holiday camps a lot, and um, it was a great favourite with families because it was like you got a chalet. There was rows and rows of chalets, and. Um, All the entertainment was included and there was a ballroom, there was games rooms, there was, I suppose, for my American friends that visit my channel, the closest thing I could describe is like the place in Dirty Dancing where like you've got people teaching you how to dance and there's a ballroom and like the big holiday resort in, in Dirty Dancing. Except this was like chalets you got to stay in. I suppose that's fairly like that. And in my younger days, I used to play table tennis. So I love to go to the games room. Look at that. I can't lift, hold it. In. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm chuffed with this. 
Right, now, how are we going to decorate? How does it end up when it's completely open? There's this bit and this bit. So, yeah. I used to go to the games room and play table tennis. And, uh, and then uh, near the end of the week, that's quite nice like that, the, uh, they would have a wee tournament and I won the little table tennis shield for that week. <laughs> oh my goodness, that stayed out on display for years. Years and years. I still have it actually. It's in a box now in the cupboard. <laughs> yes, table tennis champion for that week. And it was so funny. My dad, they wanted a judge for the, the gla oh no, what was it? The glamorous, glamorous granny or something like that. Oh, it was so funny. And we pushed my dad's hand up. And he had to go and sit on the stage and be a judge. <laughs> Happy memories. Happy memories. Right, so this final little bit, I thought we would put this little arrow so that folks know that they've got to pull that. And then we would just finish it off with a little butterfly there. I think. Yeah. So, yes, happy memories of Butlins. That's for sure. The local Butlins was in Ayr. So that was down Ayrshire, down in Burns country. And um, then uh, we would sometimes go a little bit further afield. And we went to the Butlins in uh, Wales and Pithelly. And we went to the Butlins in England and Filey, which was near Scarborough. And uh, yeah, we were big Butlins lovers. Right, I think that's me. And the only bit that gets attached is these two little tabs that's the only bits that get attached to the page so that that mechanism can move all the other bits move so it has to be those two little tabs that get attached so let's bring in the journal and find the page that we were going to use opposite the interactive page this one right and I like that the yellow picks up the yellow from the daffodils over here. And there's little bits of pink as well. The other butterflies are pink and that picks up little bits of pink. So I think it's tying the two pages together quite nicely. Right, but let's do something here. I've got three doilies, just paper ones. And I thought, just simply layer them up, just to add so that the, the nice paper still comes through on the edges. And it just gives this a nice little background to sit on, I thought, without being too complicated. Because this is the highlight of this page and don't want to do anything too complex round about. I thought anyway. So let's get these stuck down. How did we get on to the subject of buttons? I don't know. I don't know how that happened. Must have been a wee saying. Was it one of the wee sayings? Nope. Can't remember. I'll need to watch the video back. <laughs> oh, 
I'm only gluing the center pieces because, well, I don't know why. I think it's quite nice that that still lifts up and it's probably quite tricky to glue those little bits. Oh, no. This is going to be tricky now. I'm hoping that that layering doesn't affect this movement. Oh, that one is. This one, yeah, let's see. I think that'll be okay. Will it be okay? Is it sticking on something? Oh no. Something's sticking. It's that arrow there. I don't think it's the background. I think it's the arrow. Yeah, it was this. Just need to make sure that that's okay. Hmm, I wonder. Let's stick that down, take the chance. Does it look, do you know, it does look quite nice without that. You see more of the pink. I don't think I'm going to take the chance with that. I think I'm going to stick this down without it. So these two bits, and I'm going to use the three and one. Just put the lid on there. This is where you keep everything crossed that all your planning and everything <laughs> is actually going to work out. And that you don't get glue anywhere you shouldn't have glue because when because this is a a moving thing. Don't want glue anywhere. There shouldn't be glue. Right, I'm just going to give that. A second. Phew. Yeah, it's these little bits. So that just needs a careful, when you're pushing it back in, that's what it is. It's the little bits of butterfly, the little um, feeler things. So it comes out, no bother. And then when you're pushing it back in, you need to make sure those little feelers go underneath that. But how cool is that? I am super pleased and I think Barbie will enjoy that. And of course, she can add little bits of journaling here. That's still plain enough to add journaling on each little piece here. Or you could just add a little bit of a plain paper or lined paper, whatever you fancy, underneath these these bits and it still is somewhere to journal on. And yes, it closes fine. Excellent. Happy with that. Well, I could push that up and down all day. I'm going to have to do something with that little arrow, I think. I'm wondering if I should just take that bit of the arrow off. 
No, it's fine. As long as you do it slowly. Okay, so that's me. Um, thanks for joining me. And remember, please check out uh, Barbie's channel. It's Nelly and Ruth Designs. I'll put a link in the description box. And um, yeah, so like I say, I think it's only four more pages to go. Um, it's coming along absolutely beautifully, I think. It's such going to be such a lovely keepsake of our friendship, um, for sure. And when I get the one that Barbie's got, which is going to become mine, um, when I get that back, I know it's going to take pride of place, for sure, on the bookshelf. And um, yeah, so thanks for joining me today. And if you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be great. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.